today we have Deepti Marathi with us. Uh, she has done her bachelor's and master's in polymer engineering. Currently she is pursuing her PhD from IIT Bombay in polymer engineering. She will be talking to us about chemical engineering and how to go about it. So uh, ma'am my first question to you is uh, how should a student decide on pursuing this field? See basically uh, any engineering field requires a basic analytical ability. So by the time students uh, maybe are in 9th or 10th standard they realize that they have certain analytical ability. For chemical engineering especially the students should you know try to understand whether they have some liking about chemistry and mm -hmm. chemical reactions. Mm -hmm. So if they have liking for chemistry and chemical reactions they can surely think of chemical engineering as one of their options. Okay. Uh, what are the courses available in chemical engineering and uh, could you elaborate on the course structures? Diploma courses, undergraduate courses, postgraduate courses and lot of research opportunities after post-graduation are also available in chemical engineering. Diploma of course you know you can pursue diploma after 10th standard hmm. or your post undergraduate course after uh, 12th, post-graduation after uh, your basic uh, engineering. Diploma is, uh, the duration is 3 years. Undergraduate engineering is four years, post-graduation is two years. So these courses are available. What are the uh, various branches of chemical engineering? Chemical engineering in itself is actually a very versatile uh, field. A chemical engineer can work in pharmaceutical industry. Other sub-branches can be considered to be petrochemical engineering which mm. deals with you know all downstream petroleum products and their processing. You have polymer engineering and rubber technology also as sub-branches of chemical engineering. So it's a wide spectrum that the student can choose. What are the basic skills or traits a student should possess in order to see himself pursuing this career? As I said earlier, for any engineering degree, the basic aptitude the student should have is for analytical, uh, analytical problem solving. Any engineer, basically his task is uh, problem solving. So problem solving and along with that, as I said, liking specific towards uh, chemistry, chemical reaction, design of reactions, all this, if a student feels he is comfortable with, he likes to do, he should pursue chemical engineering. So uh, if a student is interested in chemistry, how should he uh, decide whether to go for a BSc in chemistry or engineering in chemistry? You mean to say whether he should pursue basic sciences or engineering? engineering. See, uh, basic sciences is more into your uh, chemical reactions or you know some kind making of new chemicals on a lab scale. Mm -hmm. Their concepts of productivity and all these things don't come into picture. It is there you are only doing lot of science, trying to do something new. Mm -hmm. Now. A engineer is a technologist who will try to translate all these lab scale knowledge into a plant scale knowledge for you know uh, productivity on a large scale. So a person who is more technologically oriented, who feels that he is more interested in designing reactor vessels, more interested in instrumentation which is related to the chemical engineering, more interested in scale up of small scale uh, reactions to larger scale reactions, he should think of chemical engineering. Person who is interested in research, trying to find out new care or trying to you know sort of make new chemicals, synthesize some new chemicals, he should pursue a science degree like the BSc degree. So after graduation, what are the various opportunities present for a student regarding further studies as well as working? India has got lot of chemical industries, even Maharashtra has got lot of chemical industries, Gujarat also has got lot of chemical industries. So any person who has completed his graduation, that is uh, BE or BTEC in Chemical Engineering, has got a lot of opportunities in various different industries. Also for higher studies, all the IITs offer a MTech degree in Chemical Engineering. UICT or ICT Mumbai is one of the oldest Chemical Engineering department which offers undergraduate as well as postgraduate degree in Chemical Engineering. LIT Nagpur also offers undergraduate as well as postgraduate degree in Chemical Engineering. Pune University, lot of colleges affiliated to Pune University offer uh, post-graduation in Chemical Engineering. You can go abroad to US as well as Europe to pursue your Masters in Chemical Engineering. So there are a lot of opportunities for higher studies for a chemical engineer. Uh, 
Hmm. Also, if he completes his masters, he can go in for research, pursue his research in India. Uh, he can uh, get scholarships for that. As I said, IITs offer UGC. Uh, also, scholarships are there. You have CSIR scholarships. If you want to go abroad, there are a lot of charitable trusts which can help you fund your studies abroad. So there is no dearth of funding as well as opportunities for higher studies and research. Uh, can you tell us something about your specialization, which is polymer engineering? Yeah, actually, like chemical engineering, polymer engineering is a confluence of mechanical engineering chemical engineering and basic chemistry. A person who is a polymer engineer has to be well versed with all these three. He has got a lot of opportunities right from how a polymer is made, how to convert the raw material into the final product, that is how to process a polymer. In fact, these days it is very difficult to live without plastics or polymers. The first thing in the morning when you get up is you pick up your toothbrush which is made up of more than one uh, polymer. All your business machines like your computers, they are made out of polymers. So basically everywhere in automobiles, automobiles is also one of the major uh, sectors where uh, polymer engineers are uh, required. Also you have a specialized branch of polymer engineering which deals with composites. Composites uh, can go in from aerospace to various other uh, applications. So it is one of the most versatile branches and lot of job opportunities as well as research opportunities are available. One of specialized branches of polymer can be considered to be a uh, rubber technology. Rubber technology also has a wide ranging uh, scope for research as well as for uh, industrial mm -hmm. jobs. Mm -hmm. My last question to you would be what would you advise students who want to do chemical engineering ahead? Actually uh, it is said that chemical engineers are the brightest minds in this world. So, uh, if you really have a liking for chemistry, designing of new reactions, translating uh, reaction on a smaller scale to a larger scale, so if you have liking for all this, then you should surely pursue chemical engineering because I can say the sky is limit for research, industrial job opportunities, so you can always uh, pursue this. Okay, thank you very much ma'am. Yeah. I am sure our students will benefit from this information.